what's going on guys in today's video I want to show you how to optimize your Google Maps on page SEO in less than 10 minutes watch this this video is dedicated to my friend Darren Marion Darren I miss you and I love you all right guys so i hope everybody's doing great today so in today's example i want to use the keyword appliance repair as you know i focus in only on this section which is the google three pack google maps google business profile right whatever we're calling it these days but just this section right here because for local searches it gets over 80 percent of the click so any 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 business wants wants their business located in, in, in the Google three pack. However, it's very competitive. There are times where there are 200 businesses all jockeying for this section right here. So everything needs to be correct. Now, remember something, when you're trying to be found in this section, there are three things that you need to be concerned about. You need to make sure that your website is set up perfectly, your Google business profile, is set up and you're also getting reviews from the area that you're trying to rank in so for example if I'm in Clearwater Florida but I'm getting reviews from California it's really not going to do me uh, that good in regards to my ranking it may help me you know with the amount of reviews I get and, and that may look impressive to somebody you know you know clicking on my account you know 265 reviews all these guys look great but in regards to rankings uh, you know they may not be ranking because their their reviews they weren't getting reviews in in that area okay so sometimes you may scroll down while doing a doing a search and you'll notice you know somebody in 10th place with 300 reviews it, it probably means that either uh, their reviews they're not getting reviews from the their zip code or their website is really screwed up so in today's example I want to show you like a really nice website this is Arnie's a Arnie's dependable appliance repair right really nice website set up good uh, but they have a couple of issues and you may be having the same issue never put two phone numbers if you're trying to rank in the three pack up up, up here right have a locations page and one location has has uh, one phone number and one one location has the other phone number right so it looks like they have three phone numbers all on the home page so I would I would definitely yeah there's another phone number right there the other thing is their GMB category is appliance repairs right so I would put um, Google five star rated appliance repairs in Clearwater, Florida. You see that? Google five star uh, appliance repairs in uh, Clearwater, Florida. Okay, this is called your H1 tag. Now, your, this is your H2 tag. Why should you choose A. Arnie's uh, appliance repair service? Okay, that's great that we got the uh, uh, it doesn't even say repair it just says appliance service now if your GMB category is, is appliance repairs you need to make sure that you have appliance repairs in all your H tags you need to have your your uh, GMB category and you also need to have your uh, the place where you're trying to be found which is Clearwater Florida refrigerator repair work you notice that Everything, like I said, appliance repair has to be appliance repair, right? Dishwasher repair, that you know, okay. But it has to say appliance repair, and you need to put in Clearwater, Florida, or put the zip code in Clearwater, Florida, or what Clearwater, Florida is uh, also known as, okay? All right, or, or the county, okay? Here's another big, another big problem is when you list your hours you need to list out your hours you can't just put month through fry eight to I mean you can don't get me wrong but but you know you want to make sure that you list your hours exactly the same way 
that uh, Google that you put in your Google business profile and I'll show you an example of a site that we did uh, 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 that that shows that okay another thing and, and I'm glad that I picked this website because I literally just clicked it right listing these used to work for ranking in these towns you need to now have a page on each town so if you want to rank in Palm Harbor you need a page on your website about Palm Harbor. Okay. So everything on your home page needs to be about your first GMB category and and where that GMB is located. So, you know, if you're located in uh, Clearwater, Florida, appliance repair in Clearwater, Florida. Okay. Your second GMB category should be your first link. So if your second GMB category is refrigerated repair, these should be all your GM, and these are, these are GMB categories, at least I know up to here. I know refrigerated, dishwasher, and uh, washer and dryer repair. These are all GMB categories. And this isn't really wrong. What I probably would have done was take these two, freezer repair and range repair, and made another page under uh, kitchen repair or something like that right for these two because the, these two I don't believe are GMB categories I don't believe they are but for every GMB category you need a page on your website let me show you what I what I mean by that so if you take a look at this web if you look at this GMB these are their GMB categories appliance repair service refrigerator repair service and washer and dryer repair service. See that? Those are their GMB categories. So on their website, they have, you know, all their GMB pages. They have their GMB pages, and they also we also put their keyword pages on the same page. All right. So you could do that, or you could, or you could just put your GMB categories here, and then next to it, you could put your keyword pages like. It's hard with uh, appliance service because, you know, the, the client coming to your website doesn't care if it's a GMB category or a uh, or a keyword page. They're just trying to get, you know, dryer repair or something, whatever, whatever they're looking for. Okay. So we have that. Now, this is what I meant by the areas we serve. You need a page for each area you serve, right? And you want to use actual pictures of that area. And you want to talk about the services that you provide in that area. And you see that? And then you want to link to each one of the services. So it shows Google that in Burnaby, British Columbia, that you know you do a dish dishwasher repair. Because that uh, Burnaby page is linking to your dishwasher repair or your oven repair or dryer repair. So your your um, your areas we serve pages link to your GMB pages and your keyword pages, right? So then we also do like a little bit about Burnaby, British Columbia, things to do, popular places. We do a little FAQ on Burnaby and then we do some driving directions from a popular place uh, to you know uh, your 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 um, uh, your GMB wherever your G GMB is. See that we show we show driving directions to that to that area. Now you notice how we listed out the air, uh, the hours, right? Make sure you list out all your hours. I want to go back to the home page a little bit kind of show you a couple of things. I want you to take a look at your website. In fact, you know, I think Arnie's is a great, you know, the, the website was designed really, w was designed really nice. But let's just take a look here, right? Very, very nice. The phone number is so easy to read. However, I'm not sure which one to call, and I'm not sure what credit cards they offer. If you noticed here, right, one phone number, credit card, and then if they miss it up on top, they have it right here. Once again, appliance repair service in in Burnaby. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, British Columbia. 
right? Everything has to be repair, appliance repair service and where they're from. All the H tags. Frequently asked questions. You want these frequently asked questions to be as high as possible on the website. Uh, it shows more relevancy. Okay. Once again, appliance repair in in Burnaby. As we scroll down, areas we serve, they link out to all the areas we serve pages. Okay. In Burnaby. Okay. So I just wanted to create a short video for you to show you uh, how we set up our pages. The home page is all about the first GMB category. The first set of links are the secondary GMB categories. In some instances, like if I was doing a roofing site, I may now have keyword pages like uh, metal roofs, tin roofs, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, shingle roofs, right? Types of roofing, uh, roof repair, right? Those are my keyword pages. And then I have the areas we serve page. Now, interestingly, I gave a, um, uh, I, I put out a video last week on portfolio pages. And I think that's going to become very, very important in the way. Now, I haven't tested it yet, but what do I mean by a portfolio page? So, Barton. Uh, appliance repair goes out to a customer you know located in North Vancouver and take some pictures and it's coming from that specific address where they're not ranking right now and writes up you know 750 words on the type of oven repair that they did at that location right you want to show Google that when and, and you're looking at the grid right now when you do a grid you want to show Google that that you, um, you're popular in that area, right? That your business is significant in that area. And the only way to do that is three ways, is to have the content on your website, is to have it in your Google business profile, and the third way is to get a review from somebody standing right on that red dot using the keyword oven repair, right? Does that make, that make sense? Right, that makes sense to you. So I think that portfolio pages, we're gonna start doing portfolio pages where if a client goes out and does a roof repair, or does appliance repair, electrician, plumbing, that maybe they take a couple of pictures and we do a page on that service that they did upload it to the website so we could show Google that we're significant in that area. All right, something really important. You know, you can't just go out there to, a, a, anymore and just, you know, do the job and collect the money and and that's it. You got to get a review and let's take it to the next step. Take some pictures of of maybe before and after and write up something that you did and let's put it on and put it on the website, right? Cuz once we have it on the website, then we we do a Google post about it and then we get a review from that area. And that's how we green out the grids. Now, it's all about greening out the grids because when you when you, when you expand your area, you're being found in additional areas, well, then you get more phone calls. And that's why you hire an SEO. You hire an SEO to get, to, get more, to get more phone calls to your business. It's not about tricks. It's not about black hat. It's not about, it's just about doing good SEO work. And that's what good SEO work is. If you did a job, <laughs> you know, if you did a job at, at 1010 Main Street, and you were red in that area, well, you know, you, you, you take some pictures and you write about what you did. And you put it in your GMB and you get a review. And those reds start to turn green. They start to turn green. So just want to give you a heads up about that. I hope this video helped. It's something that I have spoke about before. It's, this isn't the first time, but we always get new people, you know, jumping on. To people who have just subscribed, I just want to say thank you very much. I really enjoy your messages. I enjoy your private texts. Thank you very much for, uh, you know, for always reaching out to me. That really means a lot to me. And like I say in every video, you know, uh, we don't do this for our health, right? We do this for our family. We do this, uh, you know, so we're able to put our kids in good schools 
and uh, live in nice places and do nice things for our family. This is the reason why I make videos. This is the reason why you have your business. This isn't beer money for anybody watching this video, right? So be good to your family, be good to your wife, be good to your kids, clean up around the house, take the dog out, throw out the garbage, make the bed, you know, get up every once in a while from your seat. It's not about, uh, you know, sitting in front of the computer for, you know, 10, 15 hours a day, figuring out SEO. You have to take care of your family, you have to do things around the house and help out around, around the house, right? I know your wife just hit you right now, right? I was like that too, so it's okay. That's okay. Guys, if there's anything that I could do for you, my cell's here. Shoot, shoot me a text. Even if you just want to say hello, that's fine. Shoot me a text, say hello, and uh, we'll catch you soon. Thank you.